good afternoon from the parking lot of Universal Orlando. We're here today with high hopes. The walls are down around Hagrid's and it's opening soon. You never know, there might be a soft opening today. If not, a lot of stuff to see. Walls are down, we get to see the front entrance up close and in person. Why not? Let's go have a look around at Hagrid's and then whatever else we can see. So the first update that we come across is this restaurant right here. This used to be Emeralds. It is now Big Fire Grill American Fair. We don't have an opening date for this just yet, but they are very far along. You can see they've got chairs for waiting, a little fire pit out here for hanging out at night. It looks like they are ready to open any moment now. I know that tomorrow, which is the 10th, there is actually a media preview of the food for Big Fire. I don't know if they're actually gonna go inside of it, but there is definitely a preview for the food. Oh, you can kind of see they are still working on the door here. You got, they've got some temporary wood shims in there holding the glass in the door. From the looks of this sign over here, it looks like Big Fire Grill is the main restaurant section. And then there's another thing over here called Big Fire Bar. You can see there's another door, another entrance. So this is Big Fire Bar over here. Yeah, they still got a few little things to finish up here and there. So it's not like it's gonna open tomorrow or anything like that, but very close. Oh, okay, we can definitely see that there is a second level of seating up there just over top of the bar. So we know that there are at least two stories. Oh, I don't know if you guys can even see that because of the reflections, but the chandelier inside almost looks like a fire pit or a boat, one of the two. Oh dang, I thought for sure we'd be able to see the menu in here, but no, can't see it but I believe that that's a TV in there. It's really hard to tell, but this is where the menu will be once they actually put the menu out. We're headed into Islands of Adventure, and with Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure opening soon, I'm wondering when they're gonna add it to this sign. We do know it has the same height requirement as Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, 48 inches. So it would be on this same sign maybe, or maybe they would move, I don't know how they would fit it in there. And as we walk into Islands of Adventure, I just found out that today is team member preview for Hagrid's. So, I don't know, we probably won't be able to get onto it because they're just doing team member previews, but if not enough team members show up, maybe they'll let the guests from the park on it. You never know. I was just walking by Confisco Grill and I was so confused as to why these tables were out front here. And then I looked and I noticed that their outdoor seating is under scrim. So it looks like they're doing some refurbishment to their outdoor area of Confisco's. And now you eat out here. So here we go, we are headed into Hogsmeade. Have a look at Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure with the walls down, but they still have these walls up over here, but they've taken down the signs that say, please pardon our you know, magical dust or whatever it was. Well, now we know that it is running because we did find out that they are doing team member, which is what they call the employees here at Universal, previews right now from noon until eight, but I can't hear it running. Let's see what we can see around the front. I'm assuming in an effort to make more room for the front entrance, they have moved the butterbeer cart over here next to the train photo op. Got some themed speakers for the grand opening celebration. Uh, this is where the lockers more than likely will be if they require lockers for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And all of the stuff that you're seeing right here is for the grand opening celebration. So this stuff will all have moved by the time that it actually does open. But there it is, there's the front entrance. Oh look, there are some eggs right there. You think those are dragon eggs? They might be, you never know. All kinds of theming. I love this. You should be able to see, because they are running the trains right now. So we should be able to see one going by and we should be able to hear it too, because you can hear the motorbike noises when it goes by. So this might take a minute. Oh, look at the theming on the team member water bottles. It's like a little leather case around the water bottle. That's so neat. Do you hear it? There it goes. And there should be another one coming by in like 20 seconds. Ooh, did you see him going by again? Ooh, somebody's really screaming on there. They got pretty scared. It's gonna be awesome. So far all the team members are telling me no soft openings today because the team member preview is today, but you never know. There it goes again. So one thing that they did tell me is that it has the same locker system as Forbidden Journey. So no bags on the ride, but there are no metal detectors for the ride as of yet. So same thing as Forbidden Journey, same thing as Gringotts. Gotta leave all your stuff in a locker, 
like bags and stuff like that, but no metal detectors like Hulk, because it doesn't go upside down. For the grand opening celebration, they do have lighting towers, and that would be like a sound booth back there, or a lighting control booth. Probably a spotlight up on top, maybe a camera or two. Then we got lots of other lighting rigs, and it looks like they're gonna like let some banners down from up there, and there are speakers everywhere. So everything you see around the entrance to the ride is just for the grand opening celebration. Well, I came back behind three broomsticks to have a look at the Jurassic Park construction. It looks like they've blocked me all off. I can't see anything now. The bridge is complete. Some of that stuff is just for safety so that, you know, nobody falls in because the railings aren't up on the bridge yet. Some of it's to block people like me from being able to see what's going on back there. All right, while we're waiting, might as well get on some rides. Let's get on Forbidden Journey. So they changed the way that they do things. This line just goes in for lockers, and then we put I put my umbrella in the locker, and now I'm headed back outside to the entrance out here to get in line over on this side. So if you don't have to use a locker, you can just get right in line over there. So we did it. We are now headed inside the single rider's queue of Forbidden Journey. That's Express over there. This is single riders. And the regular queue is in an entirely different section of the castle. There's the sorting hat right there. The other roller coaster in the land. Light of the hippogriff. Here it comes. Whee! Just swinging back by to see if anything has changed. So far, nothing has. Let's go get on the Hogwarts Express and see if we can see anything from the queue. So we're here and we've been hearing them running trains and you could hear Hagrid really good right here. So we're gonna stick around and see if we can hear him again. They just did two trains about 20 seconds apart. But I think maybe they're only running two trains right now, so we might have to wait. Here it comes. I hear it. I think it already launched out. Oh, that was so quiet. All right, here they come again. So right now they're gonna go inside of Hagrid's hut right here. I don't think we'll be able to see anything. When they launch out. There they go. So we decided not to ride and we just headed straight through the exit. The good news is this exit will lead us right next to Hagrid's hut. So we should get a real clear, like sound bite at least, of the train coming into Hagrid's hut. We won't be able to see anything, but we'll be able to hear him say what he says. That's so funny, the last time we were here, there weren't nearly this many vines. They seem to have doubled it all up. Here it comes, right now. Whoa. There's no need for that. Well, I think that's enough for today. We should probably head back. Check this out later. The bikes will take you. Oh, he says the bikes will take you. Okay, that makes sense. And then they shoot off and head back to, I think this is probably the last thing that you see on the ride. And you can definitely see, oh, here comes the next one. That is a fast turnaround on bikes. Wow, there it goes. So intense. We are just noticing that the Thestrals are gone. You can see where they used to be. Like they used to be right here, but now they are no more. It used to be just like a little cart here that moved back and forth and it was supposed to have the Thestrals like getting ready, raring to go. Here comes another train right now. This is good. Like they are running trains very often. There's no need for Dang. Figure we would check back by one more time. Nothing's happening yet. All right, while we are waiting to see what goes on, which I don't think it's gonna soft open today, might as well have a look at the Jurassic Park area and then head over to Spider-Man, right, Spider-Man? Nothing really new happening in this area since the last time we were here. And we'll put a link to the last video down in the description down below so you guys can check it out and see what has changed. All right, time to ride Spider-Man. It's a 35 minute wait, but luckily there is a single rider line. We are inside the single rider line for Spider-Man. Doesn't seem like too long of a wait at all. Did you see that? 
The spider signal! With Spider-Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headline. Headline! Oh, I'm all wet now. your day job. Say cheese. See you later. Well, now that we're out of Spider-Man, it's starting to look pretty dark out here. Actually heard some thunder too. I'm gonna try to head over to the other park. Maybe we'll have to duck into a restaurant or something on the way over. The Green Goblin is up on top of the car. The Fantastic Four Mobile. We are headed through City Walk. I don't think we're gonna make it into the other park. Let's hop into Hard Rock, grab a bite to eat and wait out the rain. Oh yeah, some thunder and lightning happening all around there. Bang, bang, thunder and lightning. Hard Rock Cafe. I like that they have all these artifacts in here. This one's really neat. This is a broken Pete Townsend guitar and a ticket, $32 to see Pete Townsend. Doesn't say what the date was that this ticket's from. Look at how broken this guitar is though. Oh, there it is, from 2002. Pretty recent for a Who concert. The ceiling up here is just kind of a tribute to people that have died, major rock stars, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison over here, uh, Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain, and then you've got Elvis, Jerry Garcia, Sid Vicious. There's a whole section of Beatles stuff over here and actually a John Lennon piece of artwork. You guys know I love burgers. Did I get this 24 karat gold burger? It's got actual gold on it. But also they do have an Impossible Burger here. There it is, my gold burger covered in gold. It's edible gold, 24 karat gold. Kind of ridiculous, right? I got bacon for it too, but I put it, had them put it on the side so I didn't ruin the gold effect. Gold! You know what this is? That's my gold! Let's try this gold burger. It's got 24 karat gold leaf on it. Edible. You guys see that right there? Pretty good. Tastes like a regular burger. I don't taste any of the gold. So, no. Yeah. Kind of like a gimmick. So the burger was, it was a delicious burger. It tasted very similar to any other burger that you would get. So the gold fleck was kind of a gimmicky thing. Saying so you can take a picture of it and be like, I ordered a gold burger. It worked on me. So, uh, <laughs> who's the fool here? It was me. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't suggest getting it unless you wanted to take a picture of a gold hamburger. Just get the regular cheeseburger. Here we go. We're gonna head into Universal Studios. Nothing's running, none of the outdoor roller coasters are running right now because of the lightning, but we can have a look around and see what we see. Maybe ride a couple of rides that are indoors. Looks like the rain may have scared some people off because Minions is only a 30 minute wait right now. Outside of the old Terminator 2 building, we got some construction walls up. I wonder what that means. Maybe they're putting up the sign for whatever this will be. We still don't know. We got nothing on this one. The whole gang is doing a dance. Theme park ducks sleeping in the grass. What? There's just three of them just sleeping over here. Not a care in the world. You guys know, every time I come through here, I gotta ride Men in Black, because I love it, and I've been practicing. I gotta get better. Gotta be able to defeat the aliens. Well, maybe not. 25 minutes for single riders, holy cow. Just over here, back by Shea Alcatraz, and yes, Shea Alcatraz is still open, but the walls are up around Bruce, and I wonder why. You know what? I think we can go around the back of Richter's Burgers and like see how far around the back we can get. Let's go look over there. Theme park pigeon walking through the streets. That's a big old pigeon. Look at this. Around the backside, just construction walls. I wonder what's going on. Oh, is this part of it? Or is this, oh yeah, look. Some construction stuff over here. I wonder if it's to do with underneath the water or if they're doing work here. I don't know, this is a good question. Here we go, next ride, Fast and Furious Supercharge. And we've got a virtual return time and we use the virtual line system. You guys remember when this place first opened? I do. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below. It certainly is time to ride or die. So, so it gave up on um, Fast and Furious because I don't know what was going on. We did a return time, got in line, and it was still like uh, like 20 minutes that we were standing there, and then we kind of gave up on it. 
got out of line. All right, let's hop on the Hogwarts Express, head back over to the other park, and have a look at Hagrid's. We're riding Hagrid's magical creature motorbike adventure right now. Who's driving the train? Well, looking at the sky, I don't think there's gonna be any sort of soft openings. As a matter of fact, I think that they stopped doing the team member previews too. I don't think it's running right now because of the rain. Still no openings. I came over here to see if the lights were on on the sign even, and they're not. So, looks like it's not happening today. Maybe tomorrow. If it happens tomorrow, it will be included in this video. But if not, mm, I don't know when we're gonna ride it. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Universal, an attempt to ride Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure during soft openings. Didn't happen today. The team members did get on today. There's a lot of reports online going through with them saying how fantastic it is. So hopefully we'll get on it soon. We know that we will be able to ride it after it opens, but I don't know, there's something about riding it during soft openings that's so much fun. So hopefully soon. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Lauren. I'm Anthony. We're from Orlando. And now it's time to pay the price.